How are you getting along? Well, fine. I didn't know whether on this, uh, they were, uh, you know, and I know how hard you've been going, but uh, it would make a, uh, be a big help, I think, in Long Island. You know, the day that you're coming in, I think it's the 31st. Yeah. If uh, perhaps you could come in a couple of hours early and we could take a trip through, you know, li ri arrive at the airport out on Long Island and take a trip through Nassau County, they think they could get a couple of hundred thousand people out. Well, if uh, if it's not already blocked out, it'll be done, period. Uh, Jack Blendy's not here. Wait a minute, maybe he is. Well, let me see if he is now. That's the 31st, and uh, I, I speak you're that... To, you're supposed to come in for the rally. You were going to come in for the whole day, and I think the day's been canceled. I, I speak that night at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, and if they could come in so that you could maybe arrive at, at one of those fields out in Long Island and then just take a motorcade in through. Say at 3 o'clock or 4 or yeah. something? Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Bobby? Uh, is this important? Yeah, it would really be a big help. Uh, we are trying to beat Williams very confidentially. That son of a bitch is going to give us a hell for four years if he's still there, and we're within four points of beating him. Yeah. If we could get the Negroes to come down and get their people to vote. So I told him to put in my schedule that we would be in Wilmington at 3.30 yeah. and Dover at 5 o'clock yeah. before we went to New York. Now, I've told uh, Marvin Watson, who's in charge of my schedule, Jack blendy has gone, yeah. that uh, if this is important to tell them in Delaware, we'll be there at noon, and we'll try to get through at 2.30 at Dover, and leave at 3 and get up there by 3.30 or 4. Well, that'd be terrific if you could do it. Uh, yeah, if it's that important, we'll do it. I want to beat this son of a bitch, uh, uh, Williams, and yes, if, it, that. well, now, if I do this, you get some Negroes, you talk to Roy Wilkins and get him to send one or two of his organizers into Dover and Wilmington. They got a lot of people registered, but they say they won't vote. You know who's good? Uh, that's Charles Evers from Mississippi. Yeah. They could get him up there. All right. Well, now, how, I can't do that. Uh -huh. Will you do that for me? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, uh, I'll, get I'll give you three hours. And I'll get the people there. I'll give you three hours, uh, before the, uh, uh, Madison Square Garden. I'll be in New York not later than 4 o'clock. Okay, and I'll uh, put get Burke Marshall again. And you just do it quietly and call on anybody in the federal government you need, but do it where they don't catch you. Yeah, we'll do but it. But we, we want all the money, and I'm putting some money in there, but we just want to keep him from hounding us every day for four years. And I'll be there, and you just set the schedule what you want me to do. Thanks a lot. Now, is there anything else I can do? No, that's terrific. All right, give it, give, give, when you turn over that night there and put that effort on your, on your arm, give her a hug for me, will you? I'll do that. Good night. Thanks.